in case I like the flop. Over 800. Takes a peek. Here comes the flop. And the flop comes 8-7-4 with two diamonds. No help to either player. Yeah, pretty uneventful. And it's on Danny first. Well, Danny, of course, way out front with the two aces. I bet you would think that by just calling pre-flop, you would automatically check on the flop, but it wouldn't matter what came out there in hopes that your opponent fired at the pot. Now, Danny knows that. Is he thinking the reverse strategy that maybe if I bet, I'll look marginal and this guy will take the bait. Well, you're right, Vince. It does look like he's going to bet. And in Whoa. fact, that's what he's doing. He's betting 135000 here. Right into the aggressive Kevin Sowell. Now, usually if you have a huge hand on the flop, you're not going to bet that. So it's double reverse psychology going on here by Danny Wong. Well, Kevin Sowell has none of this flop. He's got a King Jack off suit. Flop has just come eight high, and his opponent has let out and bet 135000 Oh, and he's going to get the action for the wise wow. bet. Very tricky bet. I like the bet. Well, Kevin in. is making the call here, Vince, with, with nothing. King high. Splash time here at Bellagio. Ten of hearts on the turn. Gives Kevin an inside straight draw. Well, action's back on Danny. Now, if I was Danny... I'd load up the leather a little bit more here on this street. You'd be fearful your opponent had some kind of straight or flush draw here. You just have one pair, even though they're two aces. You don't want to give your opponent the proper pot odds to make a call in this situation. And finally he puts out some money. It's about 225000 Well, it's a little less than half the pot size here. You have about 500 behind? Well, it's not a big bet by any means. It's about what it looks like. Kevin says, how much more have we got? Oh, boy. Come on. Oh, there he goes wow. over the top. Good call. He's gone all in over the top. Danny quickly calling him with the two aces. Well, Danny just set him up beautifully throughout his hand. I know it. Brilliantly done. And that's a very puzzling bet. Oh, joint dead. Because oh, once he's no, moved no, all no, in, no, no. his opponent's getting about three to one odds on his money. So chances are he's going to call you with whatever he's got if he's let out of this pot twice. So a peculiar time to make an all-in bet here by well, Kevin Saul. But Danny kept betting like he was marginal. Might have nothing. Kevin put him on nothing, but he was wrong. And right now, he might have to pay for it. I told you, he, can't, he just can't help himself. <laughs> Kevin's the cat with nine lives. He'll win this pot. Well, he's had 150 lives in three days. I'm sure he can find another one. <laughs> No, this is my first miss that point. I knew he had aces, too. Danny Wong, obviously, a little fearful. Doesn't want to go out six one more time. Well, anybody else, he wouldn't even be sweating. But against Kevin, he knows he's like 50-50. <laughs> Can Kevin Saul catch the Miracle 9? Last card, 5th Street coming up. It's a six. So Danny Wong is going to double up. He gives us a little fist right there. And Vince, that's a pretty big hit for Kevin Saul. I mean, he just picked the wrong time to make a move here. And he took about a million dollar hit on that hand. Well, he was set up. He was rate shaped and baked by Danny Wong. He deserves the credit. Well done. That's handy. Thanks. This ain't the internet, son. <laughs> I mean, he is giving it to him already. They wouldn't fold the aces there on the internet either. And for the first time tonight, Kevin Saul taking a Welcome hit there. Welcome to Poker 101.